Hello everyone, in this video I will be showing you how I fix dustgate problem in my repair shop. This problem happens with all Thunderbolt MacBooks which use external Ticon board. This would be all MacBooks from year 2016 till 2022, excluding 14 and 16 inch models. This type of problem happens because of the dust or some particles, some they get into the cable and they puncture it. So you have vertical pink bars, sometimes horizontal lines. If you Google it, you will find all possible variants of this issue. So to remove the logo board, I usually use a blade and then I continue using a plastic tool. I'm making this tool using normal backlight sheet. Try to remove rubber bands the way you can reuse it. After that, you need to remove all screws and then you can start actually cutting the glue. So the main tool to remove the glue or to cut through the glue would be just a backlight foil. You just take it from some broken screen it should be like a, just a normal one, a thick one. Just cut it into pieces without any sharp edges. And then you slowly move through. This screen should be warm. So the, usually I put it on heating mat. It's like 70 degrees Celsius. Once you're done, you will be able to remove it without any post any damage to the screen. It's really important not to rush it, and sometimes you just need to to wait a little bit. Just put some pressure and wait until it disconnects the glue. That's basically the most dangerous part of the process. If you figure it out, then there will be no problem at all to fix such screens. Once you remove it, simply put it aside. No need to cover it because you will have to clean the glue and you will cover it only after that. Now clean the Clean the bleed part of the screen. I usually use chisel knife to remove rest of the glue. Usually it's not that much, but, but it should be completely clean unless you want, you want it to unglue itself at some point. Now you need to clean the, the screen itself. I usually just use my finger. And then I use EPA to clean the rest of the, of the surface. Usually it takes around 10 or 15 minutes to clean. So be patent. Don't put any pressure on the screen. Once you get it done, you need to cover it with tape. This is HSXT tape. This one is sold by iPhone repair shops. A screen prote protection tape. It's really nice one because it's uh, not too sticky. It doesn't leave any residue on the screen. And you can actually 
use it on all screens to protect. It's quite stable and doesn't unglue itself because of the EPA around. So it's a really nice one. Also really easy to cut. You can simply slide with the blade. Once you're done, try to remove this tape the way you can reuse it. Simple saves time. To unsolder the cable, you use the soldering iron on uh, 350 degrees Celsius and just a blob of solder. You just move it around until you see that it's soft here and you can actually remove, you can actually slide the cable. It's better not to pull it up. It's less risk that you will damage the pads. You're done with the screen for now. You can now replace the cables on TIC on board. Same, try to reuse the tape. Absolutely the same technique, so you simply move the blob of solder. So now gently solder this uh, new cable to the TIC on board. Be really careful not to move soldering points because they will break instantly if you apply any pressure on them. Just nice, nice steps and you slide it through the melted solder. Once you're done, you clean it, make the other side. Make sure there's no bridges. After that, flip the ticon board and glue the cable onto the ticon board. Otherwise, if, if the cable bends on the soldering points, it will break instantly. So you will have to repeat the process for the all parts. Same for this for the display side. Solder then glue it to the uh, to the board. I'm using some sort of iPhone refurbishing glue. So I use it to refurbish some chips placed on flex cables. So it's a little bit flexible glue, but a really strong one. So now once 
your Ticon is ready, you can continue the process with the screen. Same. Now you can test. I'm using quite old board to test, but it works on all 16 inch board, all screens, including 16 inch. It's not compatible with M1, of course. Try to clean backlight sheets as good, as good as possible because sometimes there's some water, some older damage to it. So you can actually make the screen better after refurbishing. And we're almost ready. Just don't, don't forget to, re to remove the tape. Once you test it, you will notice that there is a flickering. So in most cases, it will flicker simply because this device worked like many hours flickering the pink bars. For some reason, it somehow damages the screen itself and it restores after 10 to 20 hours of video content so it will only flicker on static image first then after 20 hours it's good to go